Hey everyone, you probably have struggled with this uh, like I did. This is a Dell XPS 13, which I purchased in 2015. Over time, you will notice that the uh, this area right here will puff up or raise up. And that is because the lithium ion battery has deteriorated. Instead of being completely flat, you will see that this is swollen right here and you will see these other cells also puffy which raises the keyboard as well as the touchpad consequently i have removed it and i will try to see if i can show how the new one goes in this is a new battery which i purchased through amazon Same capacity at 56 watt hours, uh, 7.6 volts. The connector is right here. Let's see what we can do. I've already taken the liberty of removing the eight Torx screws down here. And I will need to remove an additional Phillips right here. To crack the case, you really have to crack the case. You'll find an, an edge that's, um, that's a little loose and then try to put a prying tool in here and try to get it to open up for you. I wish there's an easier way, but there isn't. So you'll carefully Pry the case open. Apologize for the focus. As I've already cracked this once, this hopefully will be a little bit easier this time around. And you can hear it popping open. And see the crack. Sorry, boring part of the video, but essential for you to see the struggle. There we go. And it should come off just like that. Nothing, nothing is attached to the cover, the bottom cover. This is the space where the battery goes. Now there are screws that I replaced after I removed the old battery. So I'm going to remove these screws before we put in a new battery. Let's see, I think this one here as well. There's one more. There. I think that should be it. And this little guy, the new battery just slips right in like that. And it looks like the holes all match up there and there. This connector would go into here. I'm going to try to preserve the wiring and the attachments like it was installed originally. Now, these little tabs were taped there and there. So I'll try to make it look like it's factory new. Be sure not to pinch the wire as you install back on. Tiny little screw. And 
you don't need to death grip tighten it. Having the appropriate sized Phillips driver helps. As with anything else, the right size, the right tool helps in whatever job that you're trying to do. There should be only one way to install this. You will, feel, you will see the little ledge right down here. There's a little lip right down here. So it prevents you from installing this in the wrong way. Wish me luck. It's a little tricky. All right, you just slide it in. That's that. Cover this up. Take a little bit of blue Loctite and put it at the tip of these eight torque screws and you should be good to go all right i hope this was helpful leave me any comments that you may have take care